the med room. Now I'm in the patient's room. Hi, I'm Brandy, your nurse. Can you tell me your name? John Doe. How old are you? 34 years old. Your date of birth? 7180. Do you have any allergies? No, ma'am, I do not. Okay, do you have any pain in this arm? No, ma'am. Why are you feeling there? I'm feeling here because we're going to do an IV insertion. I'm going to use the vein, this vein right here, because it's very spongy, bouncy, and resilient. Um, we're going to use your right hand because that's your non-dominant hand is what you told me before. Okay. Um, it's no pain or tenderness here, and it's most distal, and this will be the least hand you would use for any ADLs that you may perform. Um, I'm going to apply the tourniquet, which may... Be a little tight. I'm going to go about six inches above the actual site where we're going to apply the IV. It'll be a little stick, but I'll let you know before that happens. Yes, ma'am. And once again, I'm going to assess the site, which is spongy. Okay, and the vein is seems big enough for the needle. Once we do that, I'm going to apply gloves. Grabbing at my clamp, I'm going to remove the tubing from the sterile field, removing my cap without interfering. I'm going to place it back in, dropping it in there. Once I do that, I'm going to take my alcohol wipe and wipe in a circular motion, inner to outer. I'll dispose of that. I'm going to take my 20 gauge needle, <clears throat> bevel up, taunt the skin. I'm going to go in at a 15 degree angle. Once I get flashback, I'm going to push it down and proceed forward. Um, once I'm in there, I'm going to stabilize. And as I do that, I'll pull the needle out a little, holding it, stabilizing it. I'll pop my tourniquet, occluding the vein so that nothing pops out I'll remove my needle dispose of it in my sharps container I'll then grab at the clamp my tubing to connect keeping this field sterile I'm gonna apply I'm going to unclamp this. I'm going to aspirate. I'm going to let go of the vein right here. Still keeping this stabilized. I'm going to aspirate and I get flashback. And then at a stop and go flow, I'm going to flush it, preventing any backflow. And on the last couple of milliliters, I'm going to clamp the tourniquet simultaneously. Once I do that, I'm going to apply my Tegaderm, which already has my initials, date, time, and the gauge size. going to include it right over the hub, not interfering with the sterile field. It's giving me a little trouble. Okay. And once that's stabilized, I'll detach my syringe and I'll apply my tape 
which is here. I'm gonna apply my tape right here. Oh, my tape right here to stabilize this in place. And I'll just, for safety, just apply another piece of tape right here. And then I will document time and date. Turn it off. Document time and date. And the IV site, the right, which is the right forearm. I will document number of temp, which was one, which was successful. I would also let Mr. John Doe know that to not tug on the IV, um, I'm going to look for any infiltration or redness or any kind of inflammation. And I'll also let the client know that if he sees anything like that, to let a nurse know. Um, and uh, I think document placement, I teach the patient, um, it was a 20 gauge needle and that is it and time and date, which I said previously.